Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is Drafting Tools 101, where we take a look at many of the tools I use when drawing and drafting. In this episode, we're going to talk about the lettering guide. If you're going to hand letter, the lettering guide is designed to keep your lettering a consistent size. This is important because precision and clear communication is critical for any type of design drawing. The lettering guide will help you create much more professional looking text. So let's take a look. This lettering guide, sometimes referred to as the Ames lettering guide, may look a little complicated, but it's not. First off, you'll want to place the lettering guide on a parallel rule or T-square. The guide sits on this edge and slides across it as you draw lines. Lettering guides are set up to accommodate measurements in both metric and standard. The lettering guide is used to draw guidelines from 16th of an inch to 2 inches tall. The first thing you'll see on your guide is a set of 16 holes. This group of holes will allow you to create guidelines in 1 8 inch increments. The disc on the inside is loaded with holes that will allow you to create guidelines that are smaller and closer than an eighth of an inch. You can rotate the wheel and use the frame index marks to align the holes. One index is for metric, marked with an M, and the other is used for spacing of lines in 30 seconds of an inch. The numbers from 2 to 10 on the wheel denote those increments. So, to draw quarter inch high letters, rotate the wheel so that the 8 is at the frame index mark. 8 32nd of an inch equals 1 quarter of an inch. The lettering guide holes can create all sorts of configurations of 2, 3, 4, or more guidelines. When creating technical lettering or doing calligraphy, this can come in very handy. Two of the columns help create guides for lowercase letters specifically. Most tools come with a great instruction sheet for all the configurations. The outside of the guide is actually set up to help create the structure of letters with straight vertical and horizontal lines and an angle edge. The guide is also a great drawing tool to help you create cross-hatching, bricks, and tiles. If I'm going to do any architectural hand lettering, I always use a lettering guide. It makes it look so much better. Drafting and drawing is about expressing yourself and your ideas. Your best designs happen when you apply this to every part of your drawing, including the lettering. Creating your own style of lettering adds your own special touch to the design and can really make it stand out. Using a guide allows you to focus on being creative and makes it easier to keep things even and consistent in the process. So thanks for watching and join us next time as we take another look at the wonderful world of drafting tools. Thank you.